Hi everybody, I hope that you're all doing really well. So today we're back to do something a little bit different to what we usually do, but not outside the realm of what has been done before. And I'm going to do a little clothes haul. I think I've only done one of these once before and that was over a year ago, but I am maintaining the theme of the last one in that all of the clothes that I'm talking about today are from Journey Clothing. As you'll probably know if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, I am a very, very big fan of Journey Clothing. I really, really like the clothes that they make. They seem to have a focus on doing like vintage cuts and silhouettes, but with very modern patterns and colours. So I find that it really suits my style to a T because for the longest time I've always really admired, especially like 1950s cuts of clothing, but I want things to be like bright and colourful and have bold prints that you just don't find in a lot of 1950s clothing. I like things that cinch in at the waist and then puff out. And yeah, basically if you have seen any clothing in my videos and you've thought, oh, that's nice, um, it's it's most likely come from Jenny Clothing. <laughs> my friends from secondary school used to joke that all of my clothes came from New Look and I feel like I'm kind of doing the same thing with journey clothing pretty much like half of my wardrobe is now from there and what can i say if they keep on making nice clothes i'm just gonna have to buy them though actually when i looked at my journey account i saw that i hadn't bought anything from them since january so i think that's very restrained for me and in this video today i am showing six pieces of clothing that i've bought so i don't think that's overly extravagant i do tend to go in a bit of a cycle with buying clothes where i don't buy anything for a very long time and then i will buy quite a few things in one go but i think six things is hardly a massive massive splurge you know just a few things that'll transition me from summer into autumn. I say that like I have any idea of what I'm talking about when it comes to clothes. And the first thing I'm going to talk about today is actually what I am wearing right now. So I'm currently wearing this dress that I got from Journey Clothing. I'm going to do cutaway so that you can see it in full. And you might actually recognise this because if you've been watching my videos you'll probably have seen this shirt that I like to wear quite a lot. I feel like something I often hear people saying is that if you like something buy it twice and I guess what I tend to do is if I like a pattern of something I buy different pieces in that pattern. <laughs> Just this little space galaxy print I really really enjoy. I feel like I always get compliments when I wear it but of course it's very much an autumn winter thing because it has longer sleeves whereas this I can wear in the spring summer but also I can layer this under a jumper with some tights. I really really like the neckline of this. It reminds me very much of things that I've seen from the 1950s. These like little short sleeves and then the v-neck. It also has these gorgeous little pearly buttons and a tie at the waist which I love. I'm all about that cinch in life. So yeah like I say for autumn the way that I'm definitely planning to wear this is layering it under a black jumper but then to show how sad I am, I have this planet necklace that I got from Eclectic Eccentricity that I've had for quite a few years. And this is like one of my favourite statement necklaces. And it is kind of remarkable for how much I am not really a space person, how many space things I have. And for those of you wondering, I get all of my clothes from Journey Clothing in a size 12 or a medium. Just to show how much I did not plan this video ahead of filming it, uh, the second dress that I got from Journey Clothing is actually in the wash right now because I've already worn it twice. But this is kind of what sparked my order in the first place because this comes from the new Carrie Hope Fletcher collaboration. You know, I'm a big musical theatre fan, I'm a big fan of Carrie Hope Fletcher, so I definitely wanted to get something to support this collaboration, and I thought that this arrow dress was definitely my style. Like I say, once this is out of the wash, I will do some cutaways of this and what it looks like, but I really like this dress. It feels very, very well made. It's got an extra layer of lining underneath, so it feels very sturdy. It has three quarter length sleeves, so it keeps you nice and warm. The tie at the waist that we know I love, and I've really been craving some like black with white patterned dresses, especially because recently I've gotten really into snag tights and I feel like black and white dresses are a really good base for any of those colourful tights that I want to wear. I feel like it's a really nice going out dress. I actually wore this to the theatre the other day and I was wearing it when I met Hilary Mantel. <laughs> so the association of this dress is always going to be, oh my god, that's what I wore when I met Hilary Mantel. <laughs> Stepping away from the dresses for just a second, I'm going to talk about the two jumpers that I picked up, which I've got neatly stacked the way that Marie Kondo taught me, because we are getting into the colder months, so I have to supplement that by having jumpers. I've always watched those American capsule wardrobe videos where they're talking about, oh yes, you only need one jumper, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm from England. One jumper is not going to cut it in this weather. I have an entire drawer full of jumpers and sometimes that's not even enough before I have to do a load of washing. And both of these jumpers are very musical themed. The first one being this amazing Broadway jumper. I mean of course I had to get this. And then the second one is this music notes one. And I pounced on this when I saw it because I actually saw this design I think two years ago. It was when I first got into Journey clothing and I never picked it up at the time and really regretted it and so when they brought it back I was like 
this is mine. But I just think both of these are so fun. I'm a big fan of a pattern jumper. I like a statement. And I feel like these go a very long way in showcasing my love of music and of musicals. I mean, look at that. You got quavers for days. And I actually feel like they've upgraded their jumpers recently. I think they've made them out of more sustainable materials, but they're also super, super soft. So if you're in the market for some new pattern jumpers, I definitely recommend these. They also tuck into skirts really well, which is always a nice bonus, which means I can wear them for a little bit longer. And of course, like in the UK, it doesn't tend to heat up until around May time. So definitely tucked into skirts with some tights for spring, but will also keep me very cozy in the upcoming winter. The fifth piece that I got that I'm definitely going to be layering over the top of many different things is this pinafore dress. This is just a navy v-neck pinafore dress with like a scallop edge at the bottom, kind of a suede material, which I'm not quite sure how I'm going to clean, but I'll work it out. It also comes with pockets as almost all Joni dresses do. And then a zip at the back. And I've been wanting to buy this for a really, really long time because I just, I really love the idea of layering this over the top of my patterned shirts like this. I feel like this could be a really fun outfit and just wearing that to work. I've got quite a few shirts and jumpers and tops that I think will really look good with this. But it was one of those things I was kind of reluctant to purchase because in theory, it would look really good. But I also know that pinafores in practice can look a little bit weird on my body shape. I have quite big woman thighs, which means that a lot of the time uh, with dresses, with pinafores, dungarees, that kind of thing, um, it will fit really, really well on top, but then be way too tight on my bottom half because I feel like pinafores and dungarees are just not often made with people who are not like straight up and down in mind. If you've got a little bit more going on in either your boobs or your bum, then they're just not made for you. But I thought if anybody could pull it off, then it would be Joni. And actually I feel like this fits me really well. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing around with this. And just coming into work like an overgrown child. And then the last piece of clothing that I'm going to show you is once again, a dress. We know I love my dresses. And this actually was bought secondhand rather than new. I got this secondhand off of Depop. And it's really good now that I know what my sizing is in Joni. Now I've tried a lot of things out from them. I can now buy things secondhand on Depop and feel quite confident that it will fit. That is the main reason that I often don't buy things from Depop or eBay is because I know that I'm often in between sizes. When I buy things new, I usually have to buy at least two sizes and then send something back. But because I know Joni very well, I now feel confident whenever I buy secondhand that it will fit, which is nice because, you know, it's more sustainable to buy secondhand, better for the planet. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, that is beautiful and that is definitely a gorgeous thing for this time of year and it is this midi dress once again with like a stars and moon motif this one is long sleeved it has quite a low v so for me and my personal preference i tend to have a bandeau top underneath all of these dresses that have the low v because some people can rock the cleavage look i cannot i it is not my thing this is actually a design that i think they sold about a year ago but is not available anymore so that's really nice and like i say this is a midi length it goes to like mid calf on me and i I'm about 5'8". Might work as a maxi if you're a bit shorter. What I will say about this dress is that it has a very, very high slit. The buttons basically stop at crotch level and <laughs> Even for me, to be honest with you, I think it's a little bit above crotch level, but as long as I'm sat still, nobody's gonna notice. And then as you can see, it's got a very, very big slit at the leg. So, you know, I'm gonna monitor that. Definitely you want to wear tights with, but I do just think it's a really, really gorgeous dress. I've not tried layering like jumpers over the top of this. So I do wonder what that would look like, but I feel like it's a nice occasion dress. I think this is what I'm gonna wear when I meet up with my friend for her birthday. We're gonna go out for dinner and I think it'll just be a really nice thing to wear. So yes, those were the six pieces of clothing that I've picked up recently from Journey clothing. Like I say, I don't buy new clothes all that often, so it's a nice little treat when I do. Just kind of refresh things a little bit. I feel like if I do any more clothes buying this season, it's definitely going to be shoes. I'm I'm notoriously bad at buying shoes and I feel like all of my boots are starting to wear out, which is not good because we're getting up to boot wearing season. But aside from that, probably don't need anything else. So yes, thank you for indulging me on this slightly different video to normal. Have you bought any new clothes recently? Are you a fan of journey clothing? I'd love to hear from you. I hope you're having a fantastic, fantastic day and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.